it's Jen from My Beauty Bunny and I'm with Roxy, also writer for My Beauty Bunny and writer for CheekyRocks.com. And we're here today to talk about our faves and fails, mm -hmm. our hits and our misses. Not every product is good. A brand might be awesome and that doesn't mean that every single product they make is amazing. So we have a ton of products. You can't see them here. They're all laid <laughs> out. And we're going to show you quickly which ones we love, which ones we don't love. So I will start with NARS. I'm a huge NARS fan. The first one I'm going to show you is a fail for me. This one is called Panic. I don't know if you can see how pale I am, but this is a really, really dark, dark color. This would be great for a darker skin tone, but for me, not really. And the one that I bought is called Gilda. And you can see it's a nice light peach, and that definitely is more my, my style. So those are my NARS. I wanted to mention this Tarte eyeshadow and blush palette. So basically these are cool tones and for me they work great, especially now um, I have blonde, more lighter hair. For Jen, it they didn't work out as no. well because the cool tones just sort of clashed with her skin tone. Um, so let's talk about some IT Cosmetics. IT Cosmetics is one of my favorite brands. Um, and I'm going to show you two things that I love and one thing that I do not love. So first of all, the Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. I've talked about that probably a million times in my blog. I'm just obsessed. It's a very, very thick concealer. And if you have a zit or hyperpigmentation that you need to cover, this is what you need. Um, the other one is the Brow Power uh, Universal Brow Pencil. I brought this to visit my family in the South, and I use it on my sister, my mom, and my <laughs> grandma. And we all have very different coloring, and it works on everybody. You just do a, a harder touch or a lighter touch depending on how dark you want it. And then it has a spoolie at the end. So what I don't love from Mint Cosmetics is their Rose Flush. And it looks like a nude. And it just gives you the tiniest of flushes. And because my lips are so pigmented, I really need, like, I generally wear red lipstick. Today I'm wearing, like, a, the new Melted Metal from Too Faced. But in general, I wear a darker lipstick. Um, this just doesn't show up on me at all. NYX is another really good cruelty-free beauty brand, and they have so many different products that you're definitely going to find some hits and misses within it. Um, one product that I love is the NYX Butter Gloss. I really like this shade especially. This is in Creme Brulee, and it's just the most gorgeous sort of nude lip gloss and it's pretty opaque as well so if you do a swatch you can see that just has so much color payoff but one product that I don't really care for from NYX that she stole from me <laughs> yeah is this NYX butter lip balm and uh, I just don't like this that much because it's very sheer it's a little too orange toned for me and it really just doesn't have much pigmentation at all so you can see the difference there and yeah. I really like more pigmented lip products. I just wear it at night as a lip balm. Just gives me a little color. Right. But if I'm going out, it's probably not the product I would no. have. <laughs> and I wanted to show you guys some brushes. I hope I'm pronouncing it right, but Bedellium. Recently, I went to the makeup show and I got their number 785. That's a blending brush. And I already own the 781. This is amazing for me. This fits perfectly into my crease. It's, it's hard enough that it... It doesn't uh, move around too much. This one is more fluffy. So this one, you know, it's it's supposed to be a blending brush, but just doesn't work out for me. I could maybe use it along like the top to kind of blend in some of the colors at the top. Um, but really, this is like my favorite brush in the entire world. And this is the 781 by Bedellium. Two more products from Tarte. I'll mention the one I love first. This is the Tarte Lip Surgeon Matte Lip Tint in the shade Envy. I love this. This is actually what I have on right now. And I really like it because it does have a lot of color payoff. It stays on so long. One lip product from Tarte that I don't really care for that much, that's sort of a miss in my book, is this Tarte... Uh, Lip Surgeon Liquid Lip Shine in Exquisite. It's just very sticky and I don't find that it has good color payoff at all. The shade itself is nice, but it's just so sticky that you really can't. When the wind blows, your it. hair yeah. sticks to your lips. And I can't stand that. I hate when lip glosses do yeah. that. So, this is one I would probably steer clear of if you don't like sticky lip glosses, but and I. And aren't these really like cooling? Those. 
It's, yeah, yeah. When you put it, it like on, a mint, it has like a bling. minty yeah, feeling. This is it's so cool. By far a better product. Yeah. I, I have some of these in different colors, but so you don't great. go anywhere without this, do you? No, I always <laughs> keep it in my purse. <laughs> also want to talk about brows again. This is going to look a little dirty because it's very well worn because I'm using it. I'm using it now, actually. It's the Too Faced Brow Envy Palette. I'm kind of obsessed with it. I'm kind of embarrassed to show you because it's kind of gross. Um, <laughs> but it's got like a blonde color, a dark color, a highlighter and a wax. It also comes with some little tweezers, which honestly I don't need because I have better ones. Um, but it comes with a little spoolie brush and a little brush that's perfect mm. for brows, for thick brows. If you have really thin brows, this would be a little too thick. Now, here comes the next one. So this Cinna brush, which I also got at the makeup show, there it is, has a very, very fine point. Also has a spoolie on the end. So this is perfect. I use them both together, actually. So I'll use the thick brush to kind of like fill in, and then I'll use the thin brush to really get that edge perfect because my brows are kind of sparse right now, so I'll need to get that line perfectly. So I really like these two together. And what I don't like, this is a major fail for me, is uh, I'm not picking on Wet n Wild, but Wet n Wild is an example. Um, any kind of like stick liner like this is just too harsh for me. It pulls on the skin and um, it can be drying and it, you know it just it's just not my thing. So instead of that I use I really love this Tarte. Just, it's black and bronze but it's a pot um, gel eyeliner mm -hmm. and you can you, you can actually use the Senna brow brush for that as well or you can use any kind of slanted or, or a small brush to just apply that right on the, the line. And then the other favorite that I love and can't find at the moment, it's somewhere in my makeup stash, is the Kat Von D um, liner. And that is like um, a marker, mm -hmm. which usually I can't stand, but it's such a thin line and you can yeah. put it right on and you get a perfect cat eye. And the crazy thing is I have very hooded eyes, so usually when I put on liner and I open my eyes, instantly black stuff everywhere, none. It, I mean, it dries in like two yeah. seconds. I've dried um, before. It's so nice. Oh, you have? Yeah, it's so it's, nice. It's great. It's great. And I hope I didn't lose it because I would cry. I don't have to buy <laughs> another one. Um, the brow powder that I just did not like is the Anastasia, or Anastasia, depending how fancy you are today. <laughs> um, it's the Brow Wiz Loose Powder. And that is probably great for some people, but I just don't like loose powders in general. This is just too messy for me to work with. And I just don't have time to mess with it. So, yeah. not really a fan. Yeah, I don't care for loose powders in general myself. But I think some people like Fira. Fira, hi Fira. Mm -hmm. um, Fira.net, um, P-H-Y-R-R-A. She's a friend of ours. Mm -hmm. She's, like, amazing with pigments. I mean, she, she loves them and she can do amazing things. She's done my makeup with them. And mm -hmm. I'm like, I don't know how you just did that because <laughs> I <gasps> cannot figure it out. But they're not for everyone. So I wanted to talk about two skincare products next. Um, so first I'll talk about this. This is the Acure Facial Cleansing Cream with Argan Oil and Mint. Now, I'll show you guys close up. It does say that it is more for dry to normal skin. And I tend to have more oily skin. So, Me too. Yeah. So, I mean, it says it right on the bottle. It is not going to be the best for my skin type. It's just a little bit too gentle for me. Um, I really like something with a little bit more grit in it, I guess. Something that's really going to cleanse out my skin. And I do love Acura. I've tried other products from the yeah. brand that I really like. But just this one is, it's not made for me. And Their body okay. moisturizers are really nice. Yeah, yeah. They're so, and they smell so good. Yeah. You can get them at Whole Foods. Yeah. Um, but one face wash that I do love is this one from Michael Todd. This is the Charcoal Detox Deep Pore Gel Cleanser. And what I love about this is it really cleanses your pores so well and it's almost a gel. It's super thick. Yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's like a gel consistency. So you actually feel like your face is so clean afterwards and um, Jen always uses it with her sauna clear. So mm. It works really well with that, but you can also use it alone, obviously. And I just I love this cleanser. Those pores, those areas, they get congested. Yeah. It's, it's good stuff. It's great. Let's talk about shampoo for a second. So, Paul Mitchell is one of the best brands, um, cruelty-free brands, salon brands out there. Um, they have a tea tree line, and 
unfortunately their their hair and scalp treatment is just a little too drying mm. for me um, I think some people would love it especially men I think that the line was originally targeted at men but women started buying it too um, it's if you have dandruff or itchy scalp or anything like that I think this is a great product for me it just tends to dry my hair out a little much but they also have the lavender mint moisturizing shampoo and conditioner so these are very much the you know similar in the sense that you're getting the tea tree that kills bacteria and helps with with any dandruff or itchy scalp but there's a little bit more moisturizing component to it so that you're getting uh, you know you're not getting that dried out scratchy gross scarecrow hair so I like this stuff Next, um, this is a product that we're split on, <laughs> so it's a hit for me, but it's a miss for Jen, and it really does, you know, show you that not every product's going to work for everybody, but this is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I love this stuff. I think it's one of the top five Jen. mascaras that I've tried. I'm wearing it today, and I just love the effect, but it does have sort of an hourglass wand so it's not going to work for everybody so basically yeah i don't know if you can see that's an hourglass shape and it's just it's too big for my eyes or something i don't know my eyes must be a little smaller um beauty editors rave about this stuff i mean everyone i know loves this roxy loves it it's just i cannot get it to work for me it's just not really my thing also i pretty much do eyelash extensions these days so i don't really need mascara anyway right Let's talk foundation. So I have a ton of zits right now. Hopefully you can't see that um, <laughs> because I'm wearing, actually I'm wearing two foundations. So both from Tarte. Um, there's the Amazonian Clay 12-hour coverage, which funny, funny enough, Roxy did a video on this and I went out and bought it because her video convinced me. So I own this now. She has it. Um, this is a perfect one for like oily combination skin. Yeah. Um, but then Tarte sent me the um, Found Sealer. And this is an interesting one because it's very similar to the other one in the sense that it gives you very good coverage. It actually gives you slightly more coverage than the 12 hour. However, it has the maracuja oil in it and I find that it's better for drier skin or more mature skin. Um, I use it anyway because it gives me such great coverage, so I'll use it to cover up acne and things like that. So um, actually today I'm wearing both. <laughs> <laughs> one foundation that I don't really care for is this one from NYX. It is their Define and Refine Powder Foundation. And I'm just going to show you guys. The reason I... Oh, <laughs> my bad. The reason I don't really care for this powder is because it actually comes with a matte um, powder at the bottom and then a shimmery powder at the top. So I don't know about you guys, but I don't really care for shimmer in my foundation. You know, maybe some places where you want a little bit of a highlight, but mm -hmm. I'm not, I don't really want a shimmery face all over, especially because I do have more oily skin. Okay. Um, in general, I don't really care for powder foundations on their own, maybe just a setting powder to set my liquid foundations, but this one's just not my favorite product from NYX, although I do love a lot of NYX products. They have so many different things. Yeah, there's there's got to so be much. something you don't like from yeah. the brand. <laughs> okay, and we're getting to the end now, but I want to talk about um, two Illamasqua lipsticks, and one of them, people ask me about it all the time. I, it's my signature red. I'm surprised I'm not wearing it today. I probably will be later. Um, it's very well used. It's called <laughs> Hal, and it's just the perfect lip so for my skin tone. I love it. Um, it's just it's just perfect I mean I I think I need to go buy 10 more just in case <laughs> they ever discontinue it but then I tried one um, I bought this one it's a really bright like coral and it's just way too fluorescent and slightly chalky for me so if I was going to a rave which you know I'm a little old for that um, maybe I would bring this with me but I'm more of like an old-school Maryland girl so I think I would go with the red I love that color. It's more of like, it's like a deep brick red. It's so they nice. should rename it My Beauty Bunny Red. <laughs> <laughs> well, one thing I wanted to talk about um, is this Pro Long Lash Eyelash Concealer. I mentioned earlier that I do get eyelash extensions um, and they can be very difficult to take care of. Um, one of the things you need to know about eyelash extension is no oil. Oil will take those babies right off. Um, this Pro Long Lash is perfect. It's pH balanced. It comes from Australia. It's oil free 
and basically you just gently gently rub a little on and then you can kind of roll the lashes but you want to be really careful you also want to wait maybe 48 hours before you clean your lashes after you have them first mm. put on um, you don't want to put water or anything on them for the first 48 hours if you can help it um, and I wouldn't necessarily say use this every day but use it occasionally and like I said you don't need to put mascara on your your extensions but if you do you need to clean it off because that's going to be gross really fast so I really like this product all right thank you guys thanks thank for you guys. watching and um, tune in next time we will have some more videos for you soon bye, bye.